Hey guys, welcome to this video. Uh, we're just going to run through a couple of examples of um, problem solving or applications of simultaneous linear equations. Um, so I guess the first one we've got Ashley. Um, so we'll write this down. Ashley, um, better results for maths than in maths test than English. So if we go maths, uh, English, not so good. Okay. Um, and but the sum of the two marks is 164. So the scores, um, okay, so if we went the math score plus the, plus the English score is equal to 164 marks. The difference is 22. So then if we did say uh, M minus E, so maths, take away the English score, there's going to be 22 marks the difference. Um, because maths is done better and English not so well. Um, and there's, our, I guess, our two expressions. Um, so the matter is now, well, what do we do here and how do we work out the score for each of the tests? Well, now we can just substitute or eliminate. So. I would eliminate. Uh, what we can do is we can see that we've got a positive and a negative e, so we're just going to add the two equations. So we've got 2m is equal to 186. Okay, so that means your the math score for Ashley should be half that, should be 93 marks. Okay, so that means if the math score was 93 and the English score was uh, 22 less than that. That means English must be uh, 93 minus 22, and that becomes 71. So he, his English score should be 71 marks. That's uh, that's as simple as it is. You know, you work out, you read from the equa uh, from the scenario, and you derive your linear expressions. Uh, making sure that the expressions are right. Uh, we'll do another one. Uh, we've got uh, Genevieve. So, so we've got Genevieve um, buys a total of 25 nuts and bolts. So 29, uh, 25 nuts and bolts. Okay. Um, from the hardware store, Bunnings. Uh, if each nut costs 12 cents, so one nut is 12 cents and then each bolt was 25 cents um the total purchase so total purchase was four dollars thirty okay how many nuts and bolts uh did she buy so how many did she buy so we could see that say the first one Nuts and bolts is equal to 25. That's the quantity. What we also know is, uh, what we also know is that, uh, let's say, uh, just the one thing I want to point out is that we've got cents and we've got dollars. So you'd want to make sure that the unit of measurements are the same. So I'm going to convert this to cents, okay, to make it consistent. So what we end up having that 12 cents uh, per nut and then 25 cents per bolt is going to add up to 430 cents okay and what we can do here we can actually then use um, process of substitution uh, we're going to rephrase this one to n equals 25 minus b okay um, so we're going to substitute that into n and then work out what b equals so what we'll have is uh, 12 outside of 25 minus B plus 25B is equal to 430. Um, I'm just going to get my calculator out here and expand the brackets. So 12 times 25 is 300. So we've got 300 minus 12B plus 25B is equal to 430. And we can rearrange everything. So 12 uh, 25 minus 12 is 13b 
and then if we take 300 from both sides we get 130 so that means every bolt is going to be 10 cents okay so we're going to now substitute b into back to the equation into the equ equation one of them you can pick and choose i'm going to pick the first one because it's a lot easier so that means if a nut and bolt is 25 cents and we know that a bolt is 10 that means a nut is going to cost 15 cents okay so there's uh, our solving for um, just a couple of applications, one using elimination and the other one using a process of substitution. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, see you in the next video.